So I'm in Onomichi and I'm running as usual. Uh, this reminds me of Yasujo Ozu's Tokyo story. Probably this boat key is classic and has remained and has been preserved uh, with the passage of time. And other boat keys have been renovated and unfortunately, from my point of view, uh, the design are different. But this particular boat key, I think, preserves what was captured in uh, Yasujo Ozu's uh, timeless masterpiece. So, I think this is something to look for when if you come to Onamichi and if you are a lover of Ozu's films, so this would be certainly something to look for. Uh, I think I'm quite near the uh, Onamichi City Hall. Uh, I think that's, I see. that's the City Hall, I think that's the building over there, so you can actually you know search for the city hall and you know when you approach the city hall with the, this classic uh auto style or if you like uh, but key is here so look out for the classic auto style boot key So, I, as I was saying, Onomichi is the city where a part of Tokyo Story was located. And here are some plates that uh, commemorate. <laughs> it does not here actually, <laughs> it's further down there. I'm sorry. But uh, it's a beautiful image. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Later. So, as I was saying, uh, Onomichi is the city where was Tokyo Story. Was partially located and these are places that come in. Distance four kilometers. So, if, if you are uh, a fan, you will recognize this scene from the great film. Uh, yeah. And these uh, shots located in Onamichi was a great Tokyo story. And here we are. So, this is where it all happened. Uh, these great scenes were taken here. If you are a fan of Ozia Sojo films, uh, you should really come here. Uh, there have been some hiccups in my video, but there are no hiccups in Yasujo's masterpiece, Tokyo Story. So come here and be reminded of the great possibility and hidden power of uh, you know, masterpiece in the art of film, produced by Yasujo and his company. And I am a follower of his great art. Uh, and I go for a run. 